Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3D Pay. And today I'm working on calibrating some of my 3D printers. Now, I'm really familiar with uh, Marlin and I'm just starting to get into Clipper. And so far what I found is I really like it. One thing I like about it, and this is just sort of silly, um, starting to get rid of some of the screens on some of my printers to replace them with really, really cheap LCD screens that just have the bare minimum functionality. And as I upgrade my other printers, I think that's going to save me money in the long term. Um, today, what I'm going to start off with is looking at rotational distance. And the equivalent of rotational distance in Marlin is E step. So, one of the first steps I do with any printer is work on those E steps. And in Clipper, again, that's rotational distance. So, let's start going over what needs to be done. Now, if I review the documentation for Clipper, we're going to notice that there's actually uh, several different calculations I need to use. Um, and then there's some steps down here to go ahead and make my calculations and figure out what the uh, rotational distance needs to be. Now, I've also found that if I go over to this website, and I'll post these links in the video description, here's a calculator where I can scroll down here and literally just plug in what the Marlin value is for the E steps, and then that'll give me the Clipper rotational distance. But what I wanted to do was, for me, I really wanted a spreadsheet where I could go ahead and calculate, do all these various calculations and have it all in one place. So what I'm going to do is just share this with everybody. And if you find it interesting, you just make a copy and use it for yourself. This is the spreadsheet I put together in Google Sheets for calculating rotational distance. Okay, to get started using the spreadsheet, I just want to point out how I have it set up. So I have gray cells are ones that you don't need to edit. Yellow cells are those that you can edit to suit your setup. And then lastly, the green cells are user input cells. Um, there's some basically some constants up here where uh, if you're using a 1.8 stepper, the value needs to be 200 uh, for full steps rotations. If you're using a 0.9 stepper, that number should be 400. And then depending on how you have Clipper, and let's go over and look at it. this machine. I'll do my under 5 plus. I can go down and look at my extruder. And then I have the micro step set for 16. So over on my spreadsheet, just make sure I have that value set to 16. And if I am using Marlin, I can go ahead and plug in my E steps, and that'll give me the rotational distance I need to use over here. And I can leave these values because I have a 1.8 stepper, and I'm using 16 microsteps, leave that as is. Now, if I want to go uh, convert eventually, maybe I want to convert back from Clipper to Marlin. I can plug in my rotational distance, and that'll give me the E steps I need to use. And then down in this section, um, under measure and trim, I'm using the directions from uh, the Clipper documentation to go ahead and create a process for myself to uh, calculate and determine what the rotational distance should be. What I'm going to do is go ahead and switch over to my uh, Ender 5 Plus, and I'm going to go ahead and take some measurements and then show you how I can plug everything in to my spreadsheet to determine that rotational distance. So my first step is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to mark the filament at 70 millimeters or seven centimeters. So I'm just going to stretch the filament out here and then make a mark right at that seven, 70 uh, millimeter mark. So I have that. Now, one thing I'm going to show is the ruler I'm using. 
and I found this on Amazon. I bought a ruler where it starts right at zero. So that way it makes it easier for me to use. And I don't have the best eyesight. And so rather than trying to figure out if there's a little bit on the end, um, if I look at a, another ruler I have here where this ruler, you can see, doesn't start at zero. So I have to, again, mess around with it like that. I don't want that, so I just have my ruler that starts at zero. And again, that's one of my stupid buys I made off Amazon, but I absolutely love it because it makes my life easier. So now I've gone ahead and made my 70 millimeter mark. So next I want to go and uh, look at what commands I need to use. So I put a section in my spreadsheet where here's the two commands I need to run in the console. Now, in my case, I'm running Clipper, and in Clipper, it's the console. I believe in Octoprint, it is named the uh, terminal. So depending on what you're using, you're going to go over. And so the first thing I'm going to do is let's go set some values here. So I'm going to set my printing temperature, which is 205. So my extruder is going to start heating up on my under 5 plus. And then I'm going to go down here in the console and type G90. And let's go ahead and let that hot end heat up. And then I'll switch back. My hot end, as you can see, is now properly heated. I'm at approximately 205. So let's fluctuate a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and let's look at my spreadsheet again. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this command. And let me explain this real quick. So this E and the number is telling it to, uh, to extrude 50 millimeters. So I've marked my filament at 70, and then it's going to extrude 50. And then based on that difference, it'll do the calculations down here to give me what my rotational distance should be. So I've copied my command, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste this into my turn into my console and hit enter now if i look back over it should slowly start spitting out filament and it's set at a speed of 60 um, which is fairly slow you don't want this to be fast and so now it's slowly moving the filament through the extruder. And you can see it's starting to pile up there at the bottom. So I'm going to let this go until it stops. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a measurement and plug that measurement back over into my spreadsheet. Check. And this is no longer moving, so that's good. So now let me get out my calipers, and I'm going to go ahead and try to take an exact measurement. So now I'm zeroed my calipers out. And I like using the calipers for this because I can get a little bit more exact. And my number here, it's about 21 pounds. My measurement is approximately 19.27. So 19.27. So I'm going to go back over and work on my spreadsheet now. I've fixed my measurement a little bit. So now in my spreadsheet, here's how much filament I have left. And so I'm going to put 19.29. So I put 19.29. And that's how much filament was left when I ran it through. 
Then I'm going to go over to Clipper and I'm going to go to my current configuration. I'm going to scroll down to the extruder and here is the value I'm using for um, for my rotation distance. Now really, I don't know why I use in all these decimal places, but I should only need three decimal places. So I'm just going to copy this and then go back over to my spreadsheet and paste that value in here. So I've just pasted the new value in. Let's wipe the new value in. And then right here is what the rotational distance should be. 7.631. So to fix Clipper, I'm going to go back over here. Make sure and then set the value at 631 and hit save and restart. And that will go ahead and reboot. So I just rebooted Clipper. And let me go back to the dashboard. It zeroed out the extruder, so that's going back down. It reset that G91 since everything's restarted. And I now have that new value in there for my rotational distance. Now I can keep adjusting, but when I look at the documentation, it, it suggests that right here, if it's about more than two millimeters, I should go ahead and make some adjustments. I can already tell you that it's, it's gonna be about the same and it'll be under two millimeters. So I can repeat the process or just say I'm good. In my case, I actually believe I'm good to go. So I'm very pleased with this. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to take this spreadsheet and share it out. And what I'm hoping is, is as I have more calculations I need to do in Clipper, I'll go ahead and just add uh, more sheets to this as needed. But you're welcome to use this. Hopefully you find it helpful. This is Mike from Minimal3DP. I want to thank you for your time. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And don't hesitate. Uh, if you find what I'm doing helpful, please give me a like. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.